Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, so this first item, my husband gets a call from a friend that he works with and he's like, hey, we're cleaning out this house. I've got like a pile of stuff and I just thought of you and I was throwing it in the dumpster. And I'm like, oh, what is in that dumpster? I so want to know what is in that dumpster. But he told my husband that they were coming to get the dumpster. So there was no way we'd get there in time. But he had this handful of stuff that my husband could come get. And I see a picture and there is a Patagonia vest right on top. Oh, what did they throw away? I guess there were purses and clothes and hard goods. And oh, anyway, I did not do a video on it. But uh, I listed the Patagonia vest. And I'm going to tell you about that right now. All right. Bolo video items to be on the lookout for items you can buy low and sell high. This is a Mercari video, but these items can be sold on any platform. So don't leave if you don't sell on Mercari because these items were listed on eBay, Poshmark and Mercari and just happened to sell on Mercari the fastest. These are not all clothes, mostly hard goods, but the first item I'm gonna show you is this Patagonia vest that I got for free. Free, free, free. Free is my favorite number. <laughs> All right, let's get started here. Um, screen share. Why isn't it working? There we go. All right, I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. And as you know, this was free. Sold in less than 24 hours for $100 with free shipping. Yes. I mean, I seriously, like... I can't quit thinking about what could have been in that dumpster. Like if they had this super nice, like new Patagonia vest that they were going to put in a dumpster, what else did they put into the dumpster? And that is the bad thing about Goodwill's not taking stuff right now is because everybody's just throwing stuff away. <sighs> oh, anyway, I did get some decent stuff for free. Um, I still have some stuff to list. So I'm not complaining. I'm super happy about it. But I just would have loved to have gone through that dumpster. It would have made a great video also. The next item is this Under Armour jacket. It's a 3T. It sold for $14 with free shipping. And this is from my bulk buy jewelry lot. And a subscriber bought this. So I love it when my subscribers buy things. It like makes my whole day when I get a little message that says, hey, I watch your channel. I watch Bolo Buddies. I'm a fan. I'm a subscriber. I watch all your videos. And I'm just like, oh, that makes me so happy. And then they buy something, which is even cooler. So she bought this lot of jewelry, 18 pounds. She actually liked a bunch of the lots and I sent an offer on this one for $153 with free shipping. So it cost me, hmm, I think it was almost $20 and I shipped it with pirate ship in a large flat rate box. So it cost me about 20 to ship it. Uh, Mercari takes 10%. So that was $15 and 30 cents that Mercari took. So definitely still made some money. I did send her a dress also that she can list that was new with tags. And this is a huge lot, guys. 18 pounds is a lot of jewelry. Um, these bags are, you know, 13 inches down the short side. So definitely a nice big lot of jewelry. And if you guys look at goodwill.com, you would see like the crazy prices that 18 pounds of jewelry would go for on goodwill.com. So uh, she messaged me today. She left me good feedback. Um, I, five stars on Mercari, whatever that means. Um, and I messaged her and I said, please let me know when you start listing everything. I want to check out what you're listing. So super excited about that. If you're watching, thank you so much for your purchase. I appreciate it so much. And if anybody else wants to check out what I have listed, I have links to all my stores down below. And I greatly appreciate it when you guys buy. Please let me know if you buy something. Please make offers. I, um, am, I, I'm a fan of offers. I'm good with that. Don't feel like because you watch the channel that you have to off, like give me full price. Please make offers and let me know. 
Um, on eBay, you can make an offer and you can actually put in the notes of the offer, like just put Bolo Buddies or something like that. All right, so this brawl, sorry, I got a little long-winded on that whole story. I was so excited. Okay, so this is a brawl. It's not like a name brand that I know, but the size was good and I thought it was super cute and it was only $1.99. This was a retail arbitrage item from a discount store. And I sold this for $18 with free shipping. And it sold pretty quick. The next item is this Play School Heroes Transformers Rescue Bot. This came from my money pile. I got this last summer at a garage sale. It's been sitting um, in a tote waiting to be listed. So I haven't been sourcing. So I'm pulling from that money pile. This sold for $25 with free shipping. The next item is this Catherine's Brawl size 54C and it sold for $24 with free shipping. I paid $5 and plus tax, so about $5.35 for this. I got it from a discount store and these plus size brawls, I there's something I still retail arbitrage for because they're easy to list and they sell at a decent rate. Some of them take a little bit longer, but I usually make good margins. Like this one I listed in January. So not super fast, but hey, good margins. And I have tons of plus size brawls, Kasik brand and Catherine's in my store. So definitely go check it out. These Care Bears came from a uh, garage sale and I did not have very much in them, couple bucks. I sold them for $20 with free shipping. I did have to send them in a padded flat rate envelope. So it did cost me almost $8 to ship. These little house on the prairie books and one book is missing and I sold this and I'm like, I couldn't find it on eBay. So I thought like maybe I sold it on eBay and forgot to take it down, but I only listed this item on Mercari. So I was so happy that I had it uh, sold for $25 with free shipping and I did ship this media mail. And the next I item is this material tell Halloween star Barbie and she's from 2005. I sold her for $21 free shipping. I did ship her first class and I got her at a garage sale. I want to say I paid a buck or two for her. So I thought she would do better just because she was Halloween themed, but you know, I still made a profit, but she's been listed for quite a while. The next item is this Kasik brawl sold for $20. And I did this, this is an older listing for, on Mercari. I listed this in 2018. And I, the buyer paid the shipping. I will tell you that I feel like free shipping is the way to go on Mercari. My items seem to sell quicker when I um, offer free shipping. So just a little Mercari tip. And then I ship through pirate ship. This is another one that's been listed a while since 2018 but um, I had shipping on it. So I went ahead and took an offer of $9 and the buyer paid the shipping. So I paid, I want to say two or three bucks for this brawl. So definitely bread and butter, not a huge profit. These guys, I totally thought were going to be a bolo, but the condition was not great. I should have listed them separately, but I never got around to it. This is also a 2018 older listing which I'm really happy to be selling some of these older items. Um, I took a best offer of $17 and the buyer paid the shipping. So happy to see it. Mm, excuse me. Happy to see that one go. This sew it kit. I had this on eBay for quite a while. It did not sell. So I just listed it on um, Mercari on 510 and it sold super quick. Uh, I mean, less than a week. So it sold for $20 with free shipping. So I was pretty excited about that. That came from a garage sale and I think it was like a dollar. This express blouse is another item that's been sitting on eBay. I thought, hey, I'm gonna try it on Mercari. I just listed it on 5.7. So it sold in about a week and a half for $19 with free shipping. This is a retail arbitrage pickup. I have a bunch of the express items that are sitting in that closet that I need to list. All new with tags, great items. Um, I paid about three bucks for this. So sold it for 19 with free shipping. It went in a first class package. So definitely a nice profit. These I picked up retail arbitrage at a discount store. I paid $5, I think each, maybe this Nautica one was three. So I've got about 20 bucks in it. 
and I sold these for a hundred dollars with free shipping. So, um, they sold super fast in like a week and a half. Somebody messaged me and said, will you uh, bundle these for me? So very cool. The next item are these Carter's girls shorts. You guys, if you're going to garage sales and you see kids clothes, pick them up. Even if you don't list them right away, like that's one thing I'm guilty of is I go to garage sales and I buy kids clothes. Uh, this was $15 free shipping. I buy kids clothes. I throw them in a bag and then they sit. Well, I just got around to listing a whole bunch of kids clothes and you're going to see I've done really well. Um, this one is a bummer. I sold this for $15 with free shipping. Uh, they talked me down to 15. This suit was like in new condition, looked to have been worn only a few times. This unicorn one was not in fantastic shape. I disclosed that. I showed pictures of the stains. Um, I, I mean, I don't know what else I could have done. I guess I could have not included it. So you can see right here. But uh, I ended up getting three star feedback. So I was pretty disappointed in that because I clearly disclosed that the item had stains and really $15 free shipping. I, I don't know. I, I shouldn't have included it, I guess. But I got my first three star on Mercari. So really bummed about that. But thankful it wasn't a one or a two. So these Nike athletic shorts are a size five. I just lauded them up in a bundle. The one pair of shorts has like a little snag on the back. Not a big deal. But I sold these for $28 with free shipping. The other three pair were in really fantastic condition. I would say excellent used condition or like new. So did not seem to have been worn much at all. This little unicorn, um, it's a romper. Uh, so it's got uh, shorts. It's like a one piece short set. Size five, sold for $12 with free shipping. Anything that's like unicorns or shows from like characters from shows on TV, I definitely always pick those up because those are usually trending because kids either like unicorns or like Paw Patrol or I'm trying to think like the superheroes. Those definitely sell pretty quick. So this sold for $12 with free shipping and it sold fast, I think within 24 hours. This is a Carter's Oshkosh uh, Boys 3T lot. And this is a match, but this wasn't. I figured if they wanted to, I guess they could wear it. Or if not, they could just have an extra pair of shorts. So I threw it as a lot, sold it for $16 with free shipping, and it sold really fast. This is a lot of five Cat and Jack shorts. These are all 3T. They're just like sweat shorts. Sold for $17 with free shipping. So not huge money by the time I ship it, but if you go to the garage sale and you say, hey, can I buy all of your kids' clothes? What's your price? You'll be surprised. And I a lot of times get people um, that'll just like throw things in. This is a Nike two-piece set. This was in excellent use condition, sold for $15 free shipping. This is a Charlie Harper puzzle thousand piece puzzle. This was sitting in my money pile. I paid $2 for it. I think at a thrift store, maybe it was a garage sale, but it still had a $2 sticker on it. So I know it was two bucks sold super fast and it sold for $35 free shipping. And this was actually a, I think a mother's day gift. So I had to include like a little note so that they knew it was a gift. So that's kind of fun. This is Halloween wood decorations. I picked these up at a garage sale, a buck or two. Uh, they do need like touched up, but super cool. Sold for $38 free shipping. Scooby-Doo figures again came from a garage sale, had less than $5 in it, sold it for $35 with free shipping. A Simpsons bundle. I think I think I might have put this in my last Mercari video, but I was not sure. So I thought I would include it. They bought this one, this one, and this one for $120 free shipping. So it sold on $425. So it may have been in the last video, but by the time they left me feedback, it was showing up that it sold in May. And these items all sold, um, well, they were supposed to have sold from May. Uh, this one also I may have already shown. Sorry, guys. Because it says 425. 
Oh, but it sold 20 or 10 days ago. No, I don't think I showed this one. So this is Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. And it is a um, retired vintage. I don't know if it's vintage technically, but it's an older retired toy. And it's rare and hard to find. I sold this for $36 with free shipping. This is an Origami Owl hinged pendant. And it sold for $20 free shipping. And this was a part of my bulk buy. I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay. And I just looked, this is when I posted it and it sold five days ago. So yeah, this was definitely a May um, order and it's kind of cute. It's got a little charm in it. It says I do and a ring and it, if it opens up. And these vintage drawer cabinet poles sold for $29 with free shipping. I got these at a garage sale for free and they, um, they took a little while to sell, but uh, definitely a nice little item. Let's see, I listed them for 20. Tag books, eight tag books, one pen sold for $36 free shipping. And these vintage Hawaiian, I think they're called ku Kukoi nut necklace. I don't know, I'm probably saying that wrong, but I got these in my bulk buy. I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay. If you guys have not seen that bulk buy, I bought four, or no wait, 344 pounds of jewelry. <laughs> So cool, and I love it. It's super fun learning, so definitely go check out that playlist. All right, you guys, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Those are my Mercari sales from May 1st to May 15th, and I'm going to move on and do another video. Uh, hit that thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe, and share. Uh, see you at the next video. Thanks for watching. If you made it to the end, comment, I made it to the end.